What's poppin' everybody? This is Sabre 54 and today I'm gonna tell you guys how to counter Necrozma GX Malamar Psychic Dex. Uh, this is the new deck that has risen from Forbidden Light. You, we got our Malamar, the Discorpal Energy Acceleration guy, a powerful Necrozma GX as the attacker. Makes sense, they work together. And with a few other cards that they need to work from Ultra Prism and some other sets, they basically have everything they need to be a deck, a very real deck, a very powerful deck that is basically like a Ray Eels 2.0, uh, Blaziken Firestarter from the Hex series uh, 3.0, whatever. The deck is very powerful, might be the strongest deck because getting one hit knockout so easily is extremely powerful and because of the limited shit in standard and expanded it's not so bad because there's a lot of shit but since standard we have less cards to work with because it's a standard format uh, it has less competition to be number one. But anyway, uh, the deck, even though it's very good, it does have a bunch of very important flaws and very glaring weaknesses that you can take advantage of. And is the best way to counter it, probably. Now, first thing first, you got to realize, a deck like that needs a couple of pieces to work. It just needs a bunch of cards together to work. And if one piece is missing, uh, the whole shit can not work. It, it can make it very difficult to work. Now, they need their energy acceleration guys, so in this case, this is Malamar. They need a bunch of those, so you can continually uh, grab free psychic energies from the Disco Pile. If you're going to use Necrozma GX, Ultra Necrozma GX, or even the regular one, I speak to Psychic, and is immune to colorless Pokemon with its ability, uh, you, need to, you have to discard energies to get those big knockouts, and you need a bunch of those uh, Malamar, so I was going to say Eels, uh, to grab the energies back. So they need to set up a bunch of those. So if quickly enough you manage to kill those guys and make it difficult for the opponent to set them up, uh, you might be in a good position. You're making their life difficult. They need a bunch of those. Uh, they should be small Pokemon, uh, 60 HP, uh, the basic form, and then Malamar being a 90 HP Pokemon is not that big. Now, this is a good thing to do, but a lot of the times maybe you won't be able to do it. Maybe it'll be kind of too late. Maybe it's not the greatest idea, but fast decks like Busshole GX and Pokemon that can use uh, Lycanroc GX as well and Pool, take advantage of that shit. Uh, they should have an easy time against that, uh, against pulling them, I, I should say. So maybe that's why people are saying uh, Buzzle GX is the uh, top deck along with this Malamar Necrozma GX deck. So that's one of the one of the things you can do, the one piece they need. Now, the other thing they need to work is that they need to move around with a Pokemon like Necrozma, uh, Donwing's Necrozma GX, Keldeo uh, Russian style. So you can bring the active Pokemon that normally is going to be your attacker, bring it to the bench, attach the energies, then switch back to the active. Or otherwise, then you're going to have to power up a bench attacker and then move, move that guy to the active position. So they need a way to uh, work around the bench and the active position. So if you kill Dawnwings and Crossman GX very early, uh, that can be troublesome. But once again, even if you do this, uh, in my deck, for example, I run a bunch of switches and float stones. I don't want to rely too much on Keldeo or Dawnwings and Crossman in my rate, it'll stack at least. So sometimes they'll be like, okay, you, you killed that guy. I, don't, I can't really promote my dude and attack this turn. I'm just going to power him up. And then eventually you do have to knock my active dude or do something and I'm good to go. So that's not always the best scenario either. But this is the other thing they need. They need to move around on the bench and shit and they need the bunch, a bunch of uh, Malamars, I was gonna say eels again, uh, to power up the Pokemon. The biggest thing you can do to fuck that deck up in my opinion, and we have a lot of cards to do that, is fuck up their bench. Uh, that deck needs a bunch of pieces like I've said to make the strategy work. And if you limit the bench with Parallel City, that's a big one, and Pseudo Widow, you fuck that deck up hardcore. Uh, Parallel City is going to be very big because they only have three spots on the bench this way. And that's really rough because if you have your Dawn Wings and Necrozma to move around for free and shit, that means you only have uh, two more spots. Uh, you're going to need like uh, two for the Malamars and shit. So that means you don't have another attacker, you only have the guy on the active position, and what have you. And if you have the Malamars, you don't have the fucking Dawnwings, the Krozma, then you're having difficulty with switching around and shit. 
Uh, you can use switch or something, but you can only rely on that so much. Maybe you'll get a free turn like that. And maybe sometimes it's enough to sway the game in your favor. But it is rough. And not everybody's going to run a bunch of switches like me. Uh, with the float stones and the downwings and crossma. Most people are going to rely on downwings and crossma and a bunch of float stones. So you have that. Now, the other thing, Sudawuda also makes your life a pain in the ass because that guy limits one Pokemon on your bench. And he's not a stadium. It's a lot harder. He's going to be sitting on the bench, on your opponent's bench. So you have to waste like a Guzman shit to bring him out. And it's not really worth it. Uh, you want to get your big knockouts with uh, and a cross magic, get two prizes. So it's a pretty shitty decision if you're, even if your opponent decides to target it to get back his bench together. So both are great options to fuck the deck up. Uh, taking advantage of the fact that the deck needs a few turns to set up. That's how these decks are. Ray Eels, uh, this Malamar deck, uh, decks like Magnezone, Raybor, all this stuff. But I guess those are, are a different animal. Uh, they need a bunch of turns to set up. But I feel like the biggest thing you can do is Parallel City, Parallel Stadium, however it's called, and Sudabudo. It's going to fuck the deck up. Now, the thing is, though, is that uh, Ultra Cosmo GX does a lot of damage, even if he ditches just two energies. So maybe you could even get away with two Malamars. So maybe you don't need as much bench space. Normally, you want to have three Malamars down, if you ask me. Four maybe is too much, but I guess if you can manage that, more free energy for you. But three is just a good number. Two might be okay as well, but you won't get knockouts, one-hit knockouts on the stage two GX Pokemon this way. Or maybe I guess you can just have two down and manually attach the energy. So it's not that bad. You can get away with two. But I think normally you'd want to have three just to be safe. Now, because though they can kind of get away with two, because discarding just two energies, uh, that guy is at 180. With just a choice band, you not got stage 1 GX Pokemon anyway, so he's too strong. <laughs> that's the thing. It might not be that bad. So to sum up, that's in my opinion the best way to counter uh, that deck. Uh, you use a fast engine like Buzzhole and Lycanroc, fast, cheap Pokemon like that, in conjunction with a bunch of parallel cities and Sudowoodo and shit. Uh, you'll fuck that deck up while it's setting up and shit. And even if they get the shit together, you probably have a big enough prize lead to win. Uh, the other thing you can do that's pretty obvious is shut down the abilities. Now, Garbodor uh, is still around with Garbotoxin. It is basically a classic Pokemon that can screw you over. Now, the deck can actually run Hoopa EX. Uh, that guy is still around, if I'm not mistaken. And you can basically discard three Psychic Energies and snipe for 100 and kill that dude forever, basically. Kind of like the Raikou EX, what that guy used to do. So, uh, you know, they can do that. You can do that. But uh, shutting down the abilities is a very uh, good way to fuck the deck up. The only pro problem is with that, uh, I feel like you rely on your garbage or having the float stone or whatever tool there to shut them down. Uh, a good opponent using this deck or Ray Eels and what have you, they know when to time the shit right. They're going to time the shit right, uh, use the fucking fuel blower, get the free turn to set up, make sure they set up, do the shit right, and... Uh, a lot of times, that's enough. Like, uh, th that one free turn is enough for them to be ready to fuck you up and uh, keep the pressure going. So, of course, Garbodor hurts, but I think uh, relying on Parallel City, Pseudo Wudo, and a fast engine like Bus Hole GX, uh, Lycanroc GX, pooling the Malamars, killing them and shit, is a better way uh, to screw the deck over, maybe. Now, like I've said, Ultra Necrozma GX is very, very strong, even if you get rid of the Malamars. That dude can just like manually slowly attach a couple of energies and then kill you. It's not that difficult, but it's better than nothing. And the last thing you can do to counter that deck, in my opinion, a very good thing to do, is just run a fairy deck, basically. Ultron Cross Magic is weak to fairy. Uh, maybe something like the fucking Xerneas Break deck. Uh, that can possibly fuck that deck up real time, uh, because you don't really need to attach a lot of energies. And, uh, wow, yeah, just with three energies, the regular Xerneas can one-hit shot uh, Ultron and Cross GX. So that's your best option. That's another great option. Now, Gardevoir GX, of course, is the best fairy deck and an awesome, super strong deck in general. So that deck is also very nice, can possibly fuck that deck up, the Cross GX. 
But the thing is, if you're not careful, that guy can fuck you up too. Uh, he could get one hit knockouts on you, and you need a little bit of time to set up the Gordivor GX2. So, you know, it can be 50 50, it can go either way. So that's why I'm saying a fast stage 1 or a basic fairy Pokemon kind of deck might even be more efficient against, against this deck specifically. Obviously, Gardevoir GX is a better fairy deck in general than any deck, uh, fairy deck right now. But something like Xerneas, Xerneas Break, and maybe other stage 1 fairy decks, I can't think of anything now. But using Pokemon like that, uh, they might be better suited to fuck up Ultra Necrozma GX. So those are the weaknesses you can take advantage of against Necrozma GX Malamar. Uh, it might not be enough. Uh, I think the deck is still going to be probably uh, number one, the best deck. Because a lot of these, basically everything that I mentioned besides the fairy shit, and I mean even those, you can actually kill them. Uh, you have ways that are in the deck that can counter that shit. So if you use Parallel City, they're obviously going to have their own Stadium, Ultra of the Moon. Uh, they're going to try and play that down. If you use Garbodor, a well-timed field blower uh, can screw the Garbodor player over as well. And Fairy decks, even though you can kill them in one hit, uh, they can kill you in one hit as well. So that's why I think the deck is going to be pretty, pretty strong. Possibly the strongest deck, like I've said. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, a fast engine like Buzz Hole GX and Lycanroc, with everything else I've mentioned, might be enough to stop it in this track, though. But we'll have to see with tournaments and results and reports and all that stuff. So I hope you guys uh, found this video helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Share this with your friends. Say bro 24 What's up?